approximately 89 miles, 144 kilometers, north of San Francisco, hidden among gentle hills and crystal clear waters, lies Clear Lake, a seemingly tranquil tourist destination that harbors one of California's most alarming geological secrets. While thousands of people navigate, fish, and build their lives around this 67 square mile, 174 square kilometer lake, few imagine they are literally living above one of the American state's most threatening volcanic systems. Rising majestically from the lake's southern shore, Mount Kanakti towers 5,000 feet, 1,524 meters, high like a silent sentinel. This sleeping giant represents the most imposing peak of the clear lake volcanic field, a vast region of domes, cones, and lava flows that have shaped Lake County over millennia. Despite its serene appearance, Mount Kanakti remains one of the most dangerous volcanic formations in all of California, classified by scientists as a high-level threat. The geological history of this region dates back hundreds of thousands of years, when titanic forces began sculpting the landscape through explosive eruptions and lava outpourings. Unlike the classic stratovolcanoes of the Cascade Range, such as Mount Shasta or Lassen Peak, the clear lake volcanic field presents a unique configuration, an extensive complex of multiple interconnected volcanic structures that spread throughout the region. The system has remained dormant for 11,000 years, but this apparent tranquility is deceiving. Deeply buried beneath Mount Kanakti, an active magma chamber continues pulsing with geothermal energy, feeding a restless system that keeps volcanologists in constant vigilance. The high threat classification doesn't arise by chance. It results from meticulous analysis that considers not only the volcano's destructive potential, but also the surrounding population density and the region's critical infrastructure. When scientists from the United States Geological Survey evaluate volcanic threats, they don't base their assessments on sensationalism or speculation. Seth Burgess, research geologist at the California Volcano Observatory, explains that this classification represents a calculated measure that balances multiple risk factors. The agency considers the specific type of volcano, historical frequency of eruptions, tendency toward violent activity, and crucially, social factors such as nearby population, essential infrastructure, and regional air traffic. The extraordinary proximity of the Clear Lake volcanic field to the San Francisco Bay Area makes the situation particularly concerning for specialists. Clear Lake is the closest volcanic field to the densely populated Bay Area, warns Burgess in his statements. While the volcanoes in this region are not of the gigantic explosive type observed in the Cascades, there is obviously significant risk to the local and regional population, as well as infrastructure, should Clear Lake erupt again. The Clear Lake volcanic field remains under constant surveillance by the California Volcano Observatory, not because an eruption is expected immediately, but because the potential consequences are too serious to ignore. Scientists monitor seismic tremors and gas leaks searching for any sign of change, offering reassurance for now, but acknowledging the uncertainties that approach in the geological future. As Burgess emphasizes with scientific candor, could it erupt in the future? Absolutely, and that's why we're researching so vigorously. But the future may not be on the human timescale. It may be more on the geological timescale. This statement reveals the complexity of volcanic monitoring, balancing necessary preparation with the reality that geological processes operate on vastly different timescales from immediate human concerns. Unlike a single imposing peak like the Cascade Stratovolcanoes, the Clear Lake Volcanic Field constitutes an extensive field of domes, cones, and lava flows that geographically define all of Lake County. Burgess observes that there have been lava flows similar to those you would see in Hawaii. While volcanic forces built domes expelling ash like Cobb Mountain, Mount Hanna, and Mount Kanakti, the latter being the highest, rising to almost 5,000 feet, 1,524 meters. At the center of this volcanic complex sits Clear Lake itself, spanning 67 square miles, 174 square kilometers, which played a fundamental role in the field's last known eruption 11,000 years ago. When magma emerged violently in the lake waters, it instantly vaporized, exploding to form craters and ash cones that remain visible along the coast near Mount Kanakti to this day. Currently, more than 17,000 people reside within the footprint of the Clear Lake Volcanic Field, according to a county risk planning draft analyzed by researchers. The Big Valley Band of Pomo Indians Reservation is located within this risk zone, and Clear Lake State Park, situated at the base of Mount Kanakti, 
attracts more than 70,000 visitors annually. Additionally, more than 25 million vehicles traverse the volcanic field every year, and within its boundaries are found two dozen critical facilities, including schools and emergency centers. Scientific studies indicate that the last major eruption within the Clear Lake volcanic field occurred approximately 10,000 years ago, which, according to Burgess, from a geological standpoint, isn't very old. This seemingly simple observation carries profound implications for understanding volcanic risk in the region, since 10 millennia represent merely a blink of an eye on the geological timescale. That raises our eyebrows as volcanologists, explains Burgess, that something could happen here in the future, the distant future. We really don't know. This honest scientific uncertainty reflects the challenging nature of volcanic prediction. Scientists can identify active systems and assess potential risks, but determining precise timelines for future events remains beyond current scientific capabilities. A 2019 report from the United States Geological Survey titled California's Exposure to Volcanic Hazards outlines in alarming detail what could happen if the clear lake volcanic field awakened as it did approximately 10,000 years ago. Scientists warn about pyroclastic flows, avalanches of superheated ash, gas, pumice, and rock that roar downhill at highway speeds, incinerating virtually everything in their path. These deadly currents can advance at dozens of feet per second and burn at temperatures exceeding 1,500 degrees Fahrenheit, 816 degrees Celsius. Other threats are no less grim. Lava could flow or pour from openings, swallowing residences and infrastructure under rivers of molten rock. Explosive eruptions could hurl volcanic bombs and cannonball-sized blocks for miles, some flying up to six miles, 10 kilometers, from the eruptive opening. Eruptions can also trigger lahars, rapid floods of ash, rock, mud, and water that race through valleys, destroying everything in their path. Signs of this volcanic system manifest throughout the region in surprising and sometimes dangerous ways. The geysers, the world's largest geothermal power plant, extending across Lake, Mendocino, and Sonoma counties, harnesses the region's underground volcanic heat. Covering 30 square miles, 77 square kilometers, with 18 power plants, the complex provides approximately 60% of the electricity used along the north coast between the Golden Gate and the Oregon Line. Obsidian, the black volcanic glass historically shaped into blades and arrowheads, is found scattered throughout Lake County. Burgess states it's really common, dating from approximately half a million years ago, with deposits producing beautiful obsidian that you can find in car-sized boulders. If you're fascinated by these hidden forces of nature and want to continue learning about the planet's most dangerous and mysterious volcanoes, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss upcoming content about Earth's most extraordinary phenomena.